spell, so... Hmm, even Jared haven't really delivered. Spidey haven't delivered. Jasmine's just boring anyway. Callum's just same old Callum. Fucking trying to pretend to be something he's not. Um... That's why James Jordan is doing so well, because he actually does seem to be trying to be entertaining and funny. And he's still a patronising twat, but Austin was delivering and then he gets the boot. Oh, God, I don't know. So other things that happened. Jasmine was getting annoyed with Jedward and said, I don't know if they're human or have feelings. They're just robotic little wind-up toys. We were just a fucking plastic nasty old cunt, so whatever. Um, James C was trying to slag off Scientology to Stacey, not knowing that she was a Scientologist. <laughs> and then when she said it, he was just like, well, if that works for you. I thought, God, wouldn't you ask her more about that? I would. I'd be like, oh, what's Scientology about then? What's going on? But he was just like, obviously, had enough of talking to her, just like during that edited out task when he was having a little snooze by her side. You can't blame him. You don't want her going louder when you're trying to have a little snooze, do you? Um, Jamie had a little uh, revelation for us. He said he treats women like an animal in bed. Oof. <clears throat> Just like Brandon Block, so I've heard, according to Stacey. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, God. And we had Brandon's elongated goodbye. Didn't you think he'd gone already? I did. Fair play to him. At least he actually went back in and said goodbye. I would have definitely just nipped out the door. You would never have seen me again. Um... So I do, I do think that was good. His little goodbye with James C was quite sweet. God, Brandon, you so got out at the right time. Um, and then all the others were like cuddling him. And then Jedward would go. Jedward was the reason I would have tried to sneak out. They were going, oh come on, please stay, please stay. And then they're like, oh the others don't care about you because they're not asking you to stay. I kind of see their point, even though Jane went so mad about it. Like. I see what they're saying, even though they were wrong. The others were respecting his decision. But Jedward weren't wrong either in what they said. They were just... So if your mate is trying to leave the party, you do want to try and make them stay, don't you? So I think both sides were right. None were particularly wrong. The way Jamie O'Hara acted about it was absolutely disgusting. I hate that little pug-nosed little twat. Little fucking... Ugh. Gremlin. Fucking... How old is he? He looks like a little old shriveled up gnome. Ugh, he's so gross. Um, what did he actually say to Jedward? Um, it looks like I actually didn't write that down. Uh, okay, let's paraphrase. It was something like, you're the biggest joke act I've ever seen or something, wasn't it? And then Jedward like, oh, that hurts our feelings. <laughs> but I don't think they have feelings. But still, like, come on. Jedward got loads more money than you. They're loads more successful than you. So shut up. Stop hating. Stop being jealous. Got your lipstick on. Da, 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 da. Jedward are wicked. Fuck you. <laughs> I know one of Jedward's songs. It's like... Why did he get so angry at Jedward? The other thing, I was like, as if that little midget footballer would go off at anyone else in the house like that other than Jedward. Would he talk to Callum like that? No. Would he talk to, uh, who are the other guys in the house? Spencer like that? No. Would he even talk to Hyde like that? No. Austin? No. He's just having a go at Jedward because they're an easy target. Bully. And then outside afterwards, he was like sitting like laughing, going, <laughs> shut up, twat. Yeah, he's sitting outside and he goes, oh, I don't like arguing. Uh, you weren't arguing, you're just shouting at someone who didn't answer back and just said, oh, you're still a nice guy, Jamie, so shut up. And then Spidey were, like, going to Jedward, oh, it's all right, you just be in the joint name gang with us. Oh, I like Spidey and Jedward team and it. Like, those are the only two I like in the house now, two stroke four. Um, but also, it would be better if... Heidi, uh, if Spidey and Jedward were kind of daggers drawn in a way, but I can see why they've banded together because they're all oddballs and the rest of the house are all pricks. So, not much else happened in this episode. Jasmine patted Callum on the, the dick, and apparently that was considered worthy of a warning um, on the intro to the show. Um, Nicola said she wants to leave the house to booze. No. Let me rephrase that. To cheers rather than booze. Um, actually, just take what I said the first time. <laughs> yeah, Nicola, you got no fucking hope. Jamie said you're coming across amazing to her. Mm, okay. Austin admitted he had a drink drinking problem. And then probably carried on drinking, I'm sure. And Emma announced that the weekend from hell was coming up. 
There were going to be three new house nights. Oh, I wonder who they're going to be. I hope they'll be someone good. You wouldn't let us down, would you, big brother? You'll put someone decent in like Perez, surely. Right? Right? Honestly, even Bear would be better than the, these fucking joke people that they put in. I'm building up to that level of anger. We'll get there. So Friday night, after the vote's been open all week, ML drops it on us that basically we get rid of one housemate and then the housemates choose the next person to go. I'm like, hold on. But I've been voting. I didn't know that the housemates were going to get rid of one person, especially on the basis that it was the dullest housemate because I would 100% assume that they were going to get rid of James C., which is obviously what Ted assumed as well, Ted, a.k.a. Big Brother, because they obviously didn't have Austin's best bits ready, but they had James C.'s best bits ready. Um, Why would they presume that the housemates were actually going to judge on the basis that they were told to? When do housemates actually ever do what they're told to do? Of course they're just going to go for whoever is their more enemy in the house. The whole thing is a joke. But the biggest joke is on us, the voting public, who spend 50p to actually ring up. I spent 50p on Friday night for Austin, and Austin was saved, and then Austin went. So where's my 50p back, bitches? You give Ray J's people their 50p back, where's my fucking 50p? Where? Like, the only lesson here is do not ever, ever vote on Big Brother, which is a lesson I should have learned about... 10 12 years ago um but it's like i remember this is old school but remember when they put nikki graham back in the house and everyone was moaning because they're like oh we paid good money to evict her and now she's back in the house and it's like there was actually like some integrity to the game there um back then and it was nikki coming back in that a lot of people stopped watching a lot of people got pissed off because she got put back in just because she was popular even though a lot of people did hate her as well and back then there was some integrity to the game and like who goes you decide and you did actually decide is that still the motto who goes you decide it can't be because it's not true the fucking housemates didn't even know that they were going to evict austin it was like how was that even spelled out to them like oh you're gonna um i can't remember because i was drinking but it was like, it wasn't your voting to evict this person because they were all putting fucking nominations on Callum and shit and doing jokes and stuff. So the whole thing was an absolute farce. Um, I'm not even on to it yet, but <laughs> that's just my opening thoughts about it. <laughs> so during this episode, some things happened. Jamie said he doesn't like Jedward because they're not like he was at 25. Having sex with Daniel Lloyd, probably. Um, Nicola's said she basically got herself knocked up by her boyfriend or whatever. Everyone on Twitter's like, oh, she trapped him. Uh, no, because uh, he put his penis in her, so it's his fault. Um, mm, oh, they did a task where they had to give anonymous punishments to each other, and it was things like Jed would have to perform all their hits for Jamie, and what else was it? Um, oh, I can't remember. More tweets. More outside contact. And then Austin was telling someone something about Mark Jacob and Spencer and Heidi. And Spencer got annoyed and said, I don't patrol the borders. Do I look like Donald Trump? <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, Jasmine was getting really upset because people on Twitter said she's a cunt. You are a cunt. How about if you don't want people's public perception of you to be a cunt? Stop acting like a fucking cunt the whole time. I'm sure everyone thinks I'm a cunt. It's because I am one. At least know yourself, little girl. Um, then, um, yeah, everyone on the block was like, when Emma was like cutting back to the house, was like, had their eyes closed. They all looked like they were asleep. And Ray J is gone. It was like, James C is just sat there asleep. It's worse than when people are eating an apple. Um, and then they showed some more highlights. Jasmine, like, oh, Jasmine's drunk and going crazy and she's trying to fry her microphone. Yeah, whatever, Jasmine. You're no Shima. Um, I couldn't even tell who the crowd was shouting, get someone out, get someone out. It wasn't really anyone intelligible that they were shouting to get out. 
Anyway, the first person out was do 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 Angie. Woo! Bye. Go eat your fucking mung beans, bitch. Callum could barely fucking wipe the smile off of his face. Oh, mum, you've had great innings. Now I can go and shag everyone in the house. Um, but you know, do it in a gentlemanly manner. You know, whatever, Callum. Stop repressing all that anger. It's aging you. Um, so Angie went. What happened in their interview? Fuck knows. Um, who cares? Fuck off, Angie. Just go fuck yourself. Then Emma, oh god, Emma's got her hair like that again. Why does Emma back comb her hair up like that? It looks fucking awful. Urgh! She had it like that on The Voice, but I thought she'd stop doing it on the main show, but now she's doing it again. Stop doing it, Emma. And she said that uh, oh, The Weekend from Hell was here. Ain't that right? But you're meant to be torturing the housemates, not the fucking viewers, bitch. Um... So they all went down into the basement or next door, whatever the fuck, some private room. Um, and there were some skeletons in there and some dryers and I don't know, a few paper mache skull and crossbones or something. And uh, Emma came into the house. Oh, I hate it when she came into the house. She was like, oh, I'm going into the house. Oh, well done. You walked up a staircase and down a staircase. Do you want a fucking medal? Um... Oh, then we were introduced to our lovely new housemates. They were Jessica from The Apprentice. Never heard of her. Not a celebrity. Chloe from Geordie Shore. Do you remember what I was saying about I was so happy that there was no one from Geordie Shore in the house? Fuck you, big brother. Fuck you. Um, and Kim Woodburn from How Clean Is Your House with Aggie. At least she is, like, partially famous, although she's annoying as fuck. In fact, all three of these are annoying. Actually, Apprentice seems all right. But, um... Oh, gosh. Just, please, no more Geordie Shores, please. The Geordie accent is actually on the top of my most hated accent list now above the South African accent and the Northern Irish accent. <laughs> Apologies to any of my listeners in those countries. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm got, I would be so pissed off if I was from Newcastle and these fucking Muppets were representing my town. I would be so embarrassed. It's bad enough the poor cunts from Essex got these fucking Gemma Collins and shit. Fucking, oh my God, these Geordies. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, uh, help me one of them like fell down the stairs as well (laughs) and they so they come in with like these creepy masks on um and then the housemates had to write down who they thought was the dullest person in the house and the vote was really really split Stacey, Bianca, James Jordan, JC, Jedward, Austin, Callum. They all got votes, which is quite a lot. When it was like two votes on Callum, I was like, oh my God. Imagine if Callum got voted out like that. It would be so good. But then it could have been Jedward, which would have been awful. Austin was bad enough. Stacey voted for Austin. I think it was Stacey, Jedward, and... Who was the other one? Oh, probably Spidey. He voted for Austin. Um... And just the way they did it, it's time to cull the dull. Uh, Austin's not dull. The whole vote should be thrown out on a technicality that is not dull. Um, Yeah, none of the housemates knew that he was actually going to go. Then when he did go, this is just totally wrong. Like, in a way, I feel like Austin almost dodged a bullet. And let me explain my reasons for that. Because he was already kicking off. I don't think he was as popular as he was last time and he probably would have gone out fairly early and that I think that would have broken his heart at least this way he can kind of say to himself well the public didn't vote me out the housemates did plus he'll get a lot of people that feel sorry for him off the back of it and go oh you shouldn't have gone out like that because he shouldn't have so I think in a way he almost saves a bit of face because he did actually kind of want to go because he was upset about his boyfriend and do you know what I mean? Like, in a really weird way, it was better that it wasn't the public that voted him out. And he, he actually, I think he tweeted and said, 
even my housemates didn't vote me out because they didn't know that they were voting. Yeah, they didn't even know that they were voting to vote him out. Like, what the fuck? They're- 